I know attending a wedding is not easy and you never know what you should wear, what you shouldn't wear, what you should do, what you shouldn't do. That's why I brought this topic for you guys today and I want to discuss the do's and don'ts you should uh, know about as a female guest uh, going attending a wedding actually and how you should support a couple that you celebrate that day. My name is Amafia Nio here and I just want to let you know that I do post on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays at 10 a.m. UK time. So if you do like this kind of content, please don't forget to subscribe. And if you like this video at the end, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let's get started. So we will start with the do's, which is the most easy thing to do. First thing you should do is check the dress code very easy uh, check the invitation uh, you just got or maybe if there's no paper invitation or email invitation check directly with the couple or with the family that will be uh, very close to the couple but check with them uh, most of the times they do have dress codes or they do have a theme or they do have some color that they, they would like to uh, they would appreciate uh, guests wearing or anything so why not just go and check them out so it will be easier for you to choose because we never know what to wear and i think it's way easier when you already know what which colors you should be wearing which uh, uh, theme is the um, wedding or whatever it is so first thing please check the dress code sometimes as i told you there is a theme there is something very specific that the couple really uh, wants um, everyone to wear and let's not be selfish that day it's their day and we are celebrating them and they have put a lot of effort a lot of money sometimes uh, a lot of time uh, visualizing you know visualize visualizing i don't know if it's said like that uh, their wedding so let's just help them uh, be able to dream and have their dream wedding so that's number one for me as a female uh, i do look for something elegant and chic and classy and for me at least the length of your dress or suit or whatever you're wearing is very important uh depending of course if it's outside if it's inside if like it depends once again on the theme as well and everything but for me at least uh maybe a little above knees that's the maximum i would say the, the shortest but if not i do like long dresses unless it's um, uh, during summer and it's outside or wherever but if not i do like uh, long dresses or at least uh, just um, after your knee or stuff like that i will be uh, putting pictures uh, all over here so you can visualize a little bit but yeah I do think it's very pretty very beautiful and it makes you look like instantly very elegant and classy even if it does show uh, somewhere else in your body like the back or maybe you have a little cleavage or whatever uh, it will be very elegant if it's long so that's number two number three it will be back to the theme once again uh, respect the colors i have seen a lot of people uh, like for example they will t tell them i don't know black and white and they will show up on red uh, or stuff like this i i'm not saying don't be yourself uh, if you are the kind of person who likes to uh, catch attention or whatever be like that the rest of the time but this time we are celebrating someone else and if they want you to be wearing black and white or black or black tie or whatever uh, you can do it there there is a lot of stuff outside you can find a lot of dresses uh, everywhere for example black dresses if the theme is black you can find black dresses why you want to go against it and just be the one catching the attention you will have your day or you had your day or whatever just respect the day i mean another woman's day i don't know for me it's very important what's the point of catching all the attention if you're not the bride i mean unless unless once again we are not talking about western uh, kind of um uh, weddings and we're talking about more like uh, african weddings or asian weddings or whatever i know it's very different at least for us for example uh, morocco we're not like that um i mean there's no problem for example wearing white or wearing red or wearing because the bride she will be changing many times and she will be wearing many dresses so if we follow that mentality we will not wear any kind of color because you never know what the dress the bride she's wearing 
So unless it's that, but if we're talking about a European kind of wedding or American or where the bride, she's wearing only white, or unless she doesn't ask you to wear white, just don't wear white. <laughs> just, that's a very easy and try, I, I mean, like for example, for me, if I really, I don't think so, but if I really cannot find uh, what she's asking for or what they're asking for, because it's for both of them, I prefer not, not going, I will not go and I will not uh, just be a problem on the wedding. What's the point? That's, uh, I mean, there is some exceptions, uh, like, uh, I don't know, if something happened to your dress, uh, last minute or wherever, and once again, you'll discuss that with the bride, even if it's, I guess, the last of her problems, but at least you uh, show her that you appreciate her and you mind and uh, it's not like you don't care. Number four, accessories. Accessories are very, very important. They do elevate your outfit or it will make it look very, very simple. And most important thing is, mm, I mean, as I told you on our weddings, Moroccan weddings or Asian weddings, African weddings, uh, uh, we are very extra, very, very extra. So we have like um, huge gowns and we have a lot of jewelry. And so it doesn't matter how much jewelry, actually uh, most of the brides, they will wear again uh, what they wore at their weddings to, uh, to other weddings. So imagine they will just not wear something, some crown on top of their head, but they will still wear their own stuff. So that's why we don't have problems with that. But I know for most of the weddings it's not like this. So try to complement uh, your outfit with jewelry if you want to catch some attention to show that you, uh, you I mean, sometimes we want to be a little bit different uh, to show that we're not like the rest of the world. You can do that with jewelry. You can catch that kind of attention without being too much. Um, my opinion is that I prefer to be uh, elegant and classy, the kind of thing that um, if we're taking, I mean most probably we're taking pictures, I want to watch and see those pictures and be like, uh, I'm not old fashioned because it was elegant and it has, it's timeless, it has no time. That's my own opinion, but if you want something trendy and something that's uh, fashionable on the moment, you can wear that as well, but still respecting the code and the theme. You can do that without wearing white, of course, unless it's asked, then you can. And last do, and I would say a must, please, please, I would say comfort matters you want to wear something comfortable or you want to take with you something comfortable uh, so you can change so you can uh, i don't know sorry <laughs> so you can uh, feel like you know you will be sorry you will be dancing all night uh, or at least for us we dance all night long so you will reach a point where you want to wear something comfortable and feel comfortable it's very important at least in my opinion or at least if you're wearing very high heels bring some kitten heels so you can change later or some i brought trainers to one wedding because i knew i will uh, like it will be very hurtful and it did so I changed and at the end of the night nobody ma mm, it doesn't matter because nobody will see that you changed so please please and dresses as well be careful that when you will be dancing I mean sometimes I'll be dancing at home just to see if I'm comfortable dancing and moving and all that stuff very important so do that as well check check that you will be feeling comfortable all night long so you will enjoy the wedding and for me it's very important <laughs> now let's talk about five don'ts and this part right here it will be kind of short but it's very very important so please note everything i will tell you because this is for everyone it's not just for for any kind of wedding this is a uh, general for everyone so first one i told you before avoid white or off-white just avoid it unless it's asked uh, like I saw some uh, bridesmaid uh, on TikTok and everything they were wearing uh, white because the bride she asked for that because she wanted them to wear white then go ahead but if not just avoid it you have a huge palette of colors you can choose from all of them and I'm pretty sure at least one will suit you 
two or three. So just find something that will suit you, suit your skin tone, that you like as well, that you feel pretty on it and wear it. And just don't wear white. Just, just don't, unless you're the bride. <laughs> don't do it or the bridesmaid if they are asking you to wear it. If not, choose something else. I mean, I don't know how people, they end up wearing white on weddings if they're not the bride, because darling, I, I, I struggle to find white dresses. How do you even find a white dress and then wear it on her wedding day? H how? Just let me know. How? <laughs> Anyways, next. Don't go to revealing. This is once again my opinion, but I think it applies to everyone. Don't go to revealing for many reasons. First of all, because uh, you will be catching a lot of attention, which is not the point once again. I'm not saying don't go revealing on other occasions, but just for the sake of the weddings, it's something, I don't know, beautiful. We're celebrating a union, like two people. They are they're accepting to love each other and live together for the rest, the rest of their lives and support each other. And the point is to celebrate that and not to uh, be the one that everyone is looking at, if you get my point. So for me, just don't go too revealing. And you can, you know, you can uh, find um, a way to do it. Like for example, if you are revealing your back, don't reveal the, the chest. If you're revealing a little bit your chest, don't reveal the back, don't reveal the legs. I don't know, like try to find a way to make it look beautiful and elegant and I'm certain you can find. So this is my um, don't number two. Let's go to number three. Adapt to the occasion. This is number three. Don't overdress or underdress. Uh, so, for example, if it's something a little bit casual in a garden, uh, they want something really easy, uh, just fun, uh, go and find something you will wear for that occasion. But if, uh, on the other hand, it's something very elegant, very classy, it's a big venue, uh, they want everyone to wear classy and elegant, adapt to that and wear that. And if you cannot, which is completely normal, try to find something that suits your uh, budget. And if once again you cannot, then just don't go. I mean, just don't go. Uh, no, no point to just make uh, things difficult, you know. If you cannot afford something, don't go and let them know, I'm sorry, I would like to come, but I cannot. It's not the end of the world. People, they will understand. So, just that. Number four, it's avoid prints and logos and stuff you know like sometimes like Louis Vuitton everywhere or Fendi or no just don't do that it's not pretty I mean it's not this one it's not a must you if you want to go ahead but once again it's catching all the attention it's not beautiful uh, it's not elegant and it just screams uh, look at me I am rich I have a lot of money and when you do have a lot of money and you are rich you don't need to to show that at a wedding at least if, if you want to show it outside and show that you are very trendy go ahead but if not you don't need to show that at a wedding you it's not the point it's not the point is not celebrating you having a lot of money <laughs> I don't know if you get my point and I mean what today you think is trendy and pretty most probably tomorrow or after tomorrow or in a year or, or uh, in a I mean I'd say many years when we will uh, check the pictures it will not be trendy and it will not be nice on a wedding at least so that's number four fifth one and the last one respect cultural and religious customs if you're attending a wedding uh, from another culture from another religion which already happened to me I went to other weddings they were not Moroccan they were Spanish or they were French or whatever I will just respect and adapt to them it's very easy you don't have to wear I mean, if you're going, for example, to a Moroccan wedding, you will not be wearing uh, a Moroccan um, uh, dress unless you want. You're not forced to. You can wear a normal dress, but you do respect them. You do go to celebrate them. And if you think you will not be able to, just don't go. If you think you will be forced or you will not be feeling comfortable doing that, just don't go. Uh, it's all right. Everyone will understand. But if not, I think it's a good idea to go because you will enjoy it. You will 
I don't know. Uh, I think, at least for me, I did enjoy it, and I enjoy uh, looking at other people, other cultures, opening my mind to other things, and I think you will enjoy it as well. It will not be very comfortable because you will not be used to that, but I think you will enjoy it anyways. So, of course, uh, don't feel shy to just uh, call uh, the bride because you are a woman, so better check with the bride what you're supposed to do, what you're not supposed to do, what you're supposed to wear, what you're not supposed to wear, how it will be. Um, most of the time they will help you, they will be more than happy to help you and you will be on the theme which is better and to be honest today you have YouTube, you can just uh, write everything on YouTube and you will have, you will get everything right there. So this is a very important one, just keep that in mind. So this is the end of this video. Please don't forget these do's and don'ts, this, they are here to for you to support and show all the love to the couple that is getting married that day. That day. So don't forget that. And of course to enjoy as well. So we will try to find the just in between them. And the most important thing, you just have to enjoy it and enjoy the couple and celebrate them with all the love. Everyone should do the same. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you like this kind of content once again don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!